Good evening. Just ahead, ICE cuts off power to homes, businesses, and schools in North Mississippi. We'll have an update in just a moment. Stay with us. From Mississippi's number one news team, this is a WLBT News Update. Good evening, I'm Maggie Wade, and coming up tonight at 10, trees bowed to the weight of ice and motorists struggle with slick, frozen roads as North Mississippi is coated in a sheet of ice. We'll have up-to-the-minute information on this ice storm. And opposing sides may be closer to a settlement in the Madison apartment controversy. We'll have more. All these stories and much more coming up tonight at 10. Hope you'll join us. Sunshine back tomorrow? Well, we'll find out tonight at 10. A fatal car accident on Highway 49, the story at 10. The playmate who married Lionel Menendez tells how she fell in love with the killer. I married a murderer on Hard Copy. Weekdays at 6.30 p.m. on WLBT. Montel Williams on WLBT. Last year, 5,000 homes and businesses were burglarized in Jackson, and police say those numbers are rising. It's just not one particular area of, uh, in the city of Jackson that's being hit by burglars. It's the entire city. Wednesday at 6 and 10, we'll tell you how burglars are in your neighborhood, and they may be targeting your home. He came out the front door and w was saying, Mom, Mom, somebody's in the house, somebody's in the house. Arm yourself against unwanted intruders. Watch Burglarized, Wednesday on the WLBT 6 and 10 p.m. reports. High school basketball highlights tonight at 10. And now, it's unforgettable five times a week, weeknights at 6.30 on WJTV. In the 22nd century, our soon Join the Space Rangers Wednesday at 7 p.m. on WJTV. You're watching WJTV, Jackson, Mississippi. WJTV, Jackson, Mississippi. WJTV, the news center at sunrise, has everything you need to get your day started. Our top news story at this hour. It's been a month since tornadoes killed 15 in Mississippi. Authorities have stepped up their investigation. That was holding her. I think they were just pleased to go. I want to give you a quick peek at the weather as you walk out the door this morning. Join Stephanie Strickland, Todd Wallace, and Matt Mosler weekdays at 6 a.m. for the News Center at sunrise. WJTV, Jackson, Mississippi. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People has developed test preparation classes for educators who have not passed the NTE. For more information, call 968-2243. Invest the morning in your child's future and join the Woodland Hills Baptist Academy open house January 20th and 21st from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. each day. The Mississippi Genealogical Society and the Mississippi Department of Archives and History are co-sponsoring their annual genealogical seminar at the Coliseum Ramada Inn in Jackson January 23rd from 9 a.m. until 3.45 p.m. And the 10th Annual Mississippi Business Expo 93 will take place at the Mississippi Trademark January 20th and 21st from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. For more information, call 352-9035. Send your announcements to WJTV Care of Community Reminder, Post Office Box 8887, Jackson, Mississippi, 39284. WJTV, Jackson, Mississippi. Our live on Arsenios. It's all Tuesday night on WJTV. WJTV, Jackson, Mississippi. Alex Haley Queen starts Sunday, February 14th on WJTV. Next up, Montel and Oprah are back to back Wednesday starting at 3 on WJTV. Next up. Monday at 4 on JTV 12. This is JTV 12 Jackson. From all of us at JTV 12, thanks for watching our live coverage of the 1996 City of Jackson's Christmas Parade.
we were proud to be the station that offered you complete coverage from parade kickoff to the arrival of Santa's sleigh and even a look behind the scenes. From Melanie Christopher and Todd Wallace and the entire JTV 12 team, thanks for joining us and have a happy holiday. Hi, I'm Chris Clark from Blue Cross and Blue Shield in Mississippi. As a local company, part of our commitment to you is to help make Mississippi a better place to live. A commitment to community. That's good news for Mississippi. From Blue Cross and Blue Shield in Mississippi and JTV 12. The investigation continues into the Lakeland Drive fire. Details tonight at 10. All the wild blue skies today. Can I hear on staff for tomorrow's forecast? I'll let you know at 10. Steve McNair makes his second straight start. Would it be a good one? I'll let you know tonight at 10. CBS, welcome home. The investigation continues into the Lakeland Drive fire. Details tonight at 10. CBS, welcome home. JTV 12 News. Coverage you can count on. This is JTV 12 Jackson. You're watching Jackson's JTV 12. This is JTV 12 Jackson. This is JTV 12 Jackson. This is JTV 12 Jackson. CBS, welcome home. Tonight on JTV 12 News at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nikki Mohan. Four families continue to clean up what's left of their Lakeland Drive homes as investigators try to find out what caused the fire. We'll have the details. Tony? Nikki, chilly mornings and warm afternoons. How does 70s sound in the forecast? We know all about it at 10. Keith? Steve McNair starts again, and the Saints move one step closer to the top draft pick. Nikki? Please join us tonight at 10. Rolanda. Monday morning at 9 on JTV 12. Monday at 3 on JTV 12. This moment in black history is brought to you by Dynamic Pawn and Fine Jewelry and 16 APT. In 1909, Dr. Lawrence C. Jones arrived in Mississippi with the dream of a school for educating rural blacks. Within the year, the Piney Woods Country Life School, located 23 miles southeast of Jackson, became a reality. Dr. Jones began teaching on a log under a tree. He believed in educating the head, heart, and hands, and his theory is still being carried out today. Dr. Lawrence C. Jones, a legend in black history. This moment in black history is brought to you by Dynamic Pawn and Fine Jewelry and 16 APT. The first black novelist to achieve fame and fortune in the United States was Richard Wright. Hello, I'm Rick Whitlow. Born in a small town near Natchez, Wright spent most of his childhood in Memphis and Jackson. His major works were Native Son and Black Boy, the book that made him America's leading black writer. Richard Wright, a legend in black history. Voyager, tonight at 10.30 on 16 APT. Babylon 5, tonight at 11.30 on 16 APT. Trimming the fats on the Mississippi Agenda, Tuesday at 5 and 10. Voyager, tonight at 10.30 on 16 APT. And we'll help you get your week off to a good start. Karen Mackey and Gail Wolf will be here to get you going. Will we see any sunshine for the week? We'll have all that and more coming up Monday on Eyewitness News 16 this morning. Babylon 5, tonight at 11.30 on 16 APT. Most captioning of Eyewitness News 16 is brought to you by Union Planters Bank. Next on Eyewitness News 16, the latest on the American Airlines strike. The ball is now in the president's court. And could there be benefits to the pilot strike? And in Greek, it means to be seized by gods or demons. Tonight, we explore the myth behind epilepsy. Good evening, I'm Katina Rankin. Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News 16, the strike only lasted four minutes before President Clinton stopped the American airline pilots. That meant mouths for Jackson passengers will explain. And it affects 2.5 million people nationwide. Ross? Hey, what a gorgeous day today. It looks like more of the same for tomorrow. I have your complete forecast coming up at 10 o'clock.
stories that hit home. Eyewitness News 16. Is Mississippi losing the Battle of the Bulge? I'm Whitney Van. Tuesday, we'll continue our focus on Mississippi's war on fat and ways we can win it. We'll be trimming the fat on the Mississippi Agenda Tuesday at 5 and 10 on Eyewitness News 16. 16 APT is ABC in Jackson. In some primitive tribes, the role of the firekeeper is vital. It is the firekeeper's role to remain vigilant and keep the fire from going out, even when the tribe moves from one place to another. We need firekeepers in our community, people who kindle the fires of decency, honesty, truth, love, and faith. Join us Sunday, 11 a.m., live from Galloway, here on 16 APT. At 11.30 on 16 APT. You can win great prizes when you play Wheel Deal on 16 APT. Like a $750 wardrobe from The Rogue, the South's premier independent specialty store. A $1,500 leather recliner from Mississippi Wholesale Furniture. A year's membership at the Courthouse Racket Club. A year's supply of ice cream from Yarnell's. Men's suits from Elegant Gents Enterprises. A one-carat diamond dinner ring from Dynamic Pawn and Fine Jewelry. Or a $500 wardrobe from Betty G's. Mail a postcard to Wheel Deal, care of 16 APT today. Winter's here, bringing with it the threat of winter storms. The potential for a serious widespread ice storm is very, very high. Whether it's ice and sleet or drenching rains, NextRap 16 weather is on top of slippery winter weather changes. Rely on NextRap 16 weather and meteorologist David Hartman and Barbie Bassett to bring home the winter weather information you need so you don't get left out in the cold. NextRap 16 weather, only on Eyewitness News 16. Moesha, tonight at 10.30 on 16 APT. Matlock, weeknights at 11.05 on 16 APT. Tonight at 10.30 on 16 APT.